A quick set of instructions for using the laser rangefinder during our survey assignments. Laser rangefinders come in a lot of different models. We happen to be using a Nikon one here. They usually have a single monocular that you look through, a mode button located somewhere that may change it to various settings that might be good for fog, uh, drizzle, or clear days, or other modes the, the unit might have. Uh, that one you shouldn't have to change, should be ready to go and set for you. And then the off on switch and the switch that you'll depress as a target to shoot the laser at an object uh, to take the distance reading. And so <clears throat> the this uh, unit will go to sleep when you're done, so you don't have to worry about turning it off. Um, you simply look through the unit, and let's see how bad I can do at this. So you look through the unit, aim it at a target, push the button, and you should get a little crosshairs. And if I'm going to that plant there, I get seven meters. If I'm going to the fence, I get 11 meters. If I swing around and find my neighbor's shed over here, I get 17 meters. And that'll look much better, of course, when you're not trying to be the world's most horrible videographer. But hopefully that gives you an idea of what you should look for as you uh, look into this. A couple of other things uh, just to note. Uh, let's say that I saw a bird up in the tree up there. If I was going to uh, aim at this, the, the larger and the more solid the object is, the better that laser is going to reflect back and give us a accurate distance. So the fence is great, a tree trunk is great. Um, you may need to pick, if I saw a bird up in an area where there was a lot of confusion, I may need to pick a place that maybe I think that the bird is actually the same distance as the tip of the roof of my shed over here just by looking at it and so I'd actually be better off taking the distance to the roof of the shed than trying to shoot through the leaves of the tree where it might be bouncing off of, uh, of a branch or something that I don't know about. I might also, if I did try to take it in the tree, I might try to uh, take like three or four readings just to make sure that I have indeed pointed it at the place that I want to. And so. Um, take a couple readings as you do this just to make sure that, that you do have the, the reading that you want and that it is uh, registering off of the, the surface of the target that you want. And it's pretty easy to use and that's the basics for using the laser rangefinder.